The year 2017 has become the turning point for Rosneft. The company has begun implementing a new strategy of development that will enable it to not only confirm its status as a major, but also to ensure its leadership in the world oil and gas industry. To hold its positions and conquer new peaks, Rosneft has developed and adopted the corporate strategy till 2022. Germany, India, Egypt, China, the most significant and successful deals of the year. How does Rosneft diversify its hydrocarbon supplies and what dividends will be provided by new markets? The first one in Russia, Rosneft has begun drilling the most northern well in the shelf area of the Eastern Arctic and for the first time in the history of Russia has performed works on towing an iceberg weighing 1,000,000 tons. In the year 2017, Rosneft demonstrated a confident increase in industrial and financial indicators, including due to the upgrade of its assets and innovative methods of work. At the same time, Rosneft significantly expanded its international presence and strengthened its positions on the leading regional power markets. Germany, Egypt, China, India, Venezuela, Vietnam, Poland, Czech Republic, Brazil, Indonesia, and the Middle East. All these are growth areas for global hydrocarbon consumption today. The company procured first-rate assets on a series of markets, thus assuring its key role in the value chain. In the year 2017, the company's board of directors approved the strategy Rosneft 2022, aimed at the qualitative change of business. The company will concentrate on the implementation of key projects and increase in their rate of return by means of field development intensification. The company's management model will also change. In the next five years, Rosneft will actively implement and apply the most advanced solutions of the technological age. Artificial intelligence, big data, deposit digitalization. All this will take the company to a qualitatively new level of business. Goals and Strategic Initiatives Holding the Leadership in Unit Costs Establishment of Long-Standing Technological Advantage and Stimulation of Production Company's goal is to increase liquid hydrocarbons production to 250 million tons by 2022 by designing new projects and improving efficiency of nature fields through the application of new technologies. Gas business development. And a result of implementation of its main planned gas projects, Rosneft's production will amount to 100 billion cubic meters of gas per year, which will enable the company to occupy one-fifth of the domestic market. Improvement of service business technological effectiveness. The company is determined to improve its service business performance indicators to shorten the time of well drilling by 5%, to increase efficiency of work over crews by 20%, and to improve efficiency rate of drilling rigs by 30%. Total share of petrochemical industry and the whole volume of refining capacities will amount to 20%. Technological development and digitalization. Rosneft actively implements intelligent technologies. By 2022, the company plans not only to create digital deposits, plants, and filling stations using artificial intelligence, but also to combine them into one digital line. The strategy provides for a transition to holding management structure. The pilot project will be implemented at retail. Rosneft possesses the biggest retail chain of filling stations in Russia with one of the highest performance indicators. Separation of retail trade into an individual business will enable the company to significantly improve its capitalization of retail. 
implementation of the strategy, Rosneft 2022, will have significant positive effect on the company's shareholder value at the level of 15 to 20 percent of its current market capitalization. In 2017, a foundation for the completion of an integral privatization transaction was laid. In May 2018, the consortium QIA Glencore announced its decision to switch over to direct holding of Rosneft's shares, in a result of which the Qatar Fund will obtain about 19% of shares and become a strategic investor interested in the development of common projects and growth of companies' capitalization. Within the integrated privatization deal, a controlling stake of Bosneft was also acquired. Synergetic effect only from this acquisition has already amounted to more than 50 billion rubles. It is planned that till 2022, Rosneft will receive another 105 billion thanks to integration of the Boschker company. In summer 2017, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, instructed Igor Sietchen, the CEO of Rosneft, to consider a question of increase in dividends at the annual meeting of shareholders. The resolution was passed quickly and unanimously. A minimum level of dividend payments was increased from 35% to 50%. In 2017, Rosneft paid dividends to its shareholders in the amount of 104 billions of Russian rubles, including 63.4 billions of Russian rubles based on the result of work in 2016, and 40.6 billions of Russian rubles as interim dividends based on the results of the first half of 2017. In 2017, the company's board of directors elected a new chairman, the former German chancellor, Gerhard Schroeder. To be a part of the management of the biggest oil producer is a challenge for me. All the shareholders gave their consent, and I had no reasons to refuse. Moreover, I have a low opinion of isolating Russia in political or economical terms, and now I have a chance to make my small contribution to resist this tendency. In 2017, Rosneft's revenue exceeded six trillions of Russian rubles for the first time by demonstrating a significant growth by more than 20 percent. Net profit in ruble equivalent increased by more than 27 percent and amounted to 222 billions of Russian rubles. The company plays a key role in the formation of state budget revenues of Russia. Total payments from the company's activity into the Russian budget in 2017 amounted to about 2.6 trillions of Russian rubles. Rosneft has been the biggest taxpayer in Russia for several years already. Rosneft completed the year 2017 with record indicators in the field of exploration and production. Hydrocarbons production amounted to more than 281 million tons. As compared to 2016, the indicators grew by 6.5%. Liquid hydrocarbons production grew by more than 7% and amounted to 225.5 million tons. Outrunning growth of oil production at the company's key asset, Yugansk Niftegas, has become an important achievement of the previous year. Today, the enterprise produces more than 66 million tons of oil per year, which is 4.5% higher than the level of 2016. Such result has been achieved due to the use of new drilling technologies, use of multi-stage hydraulic fracturing, and almost two-fold shortening of horizontal drilling cycle. In 2017, the company managed to stabilize production at Samut Law. Investment stimuli in the form of annual gradual reduction of the mineral production tax in the amount of RUR 35 million within 10 years were introduced for the mature field. More than 2,400 wells shall be drilled at Samut Lor by 2028. They will ensure additional liquid hydrocarbons production, more than 50 million tons of oil. And a result of implementation of the program for Summit Law Development, tax payments to the budgets of all levels will amount to RUR 1.7 trillion. 
In 2017, Rosneft has commissioned a new oil and gas producing cluster, Ergensky, in the western Siberia. It includes five deposits, located in the Hante Manse Autonomous Area. Oil reserves of this new cluster amount to 259 million tons. It is a light, sweet crude oil corresponding to the export brand, Siberian Light. We may speak about a new format of deposit development with traditional production, which consists in active commencement of hard-to-recover reserves using advanced technologies and the existing infrastructure. Based on the year's results, Rosneft demonstrates a record success rate of geological prospecting works, 86%, 31 new deposits, and 162 new fields, with total reserves of 233 million tons of oil equivalent were discovered. Volume of hydrocarbons extraction increased by 4.2% to 19.2 billion tons of oil equivalent. Rosneft is a leader among the biggest world public companies in terms of availability of proved reserves and proved reserves replacement rate. Total volume of seismic works, both onshore and offshore in 2017, exceeded the indicators of the previous year by more than 30%. About 7,000 lineal kilometers of seismic works using 2D method and about 10,000 square kilometers using 3D method were performed on shore. 155 exploration wells were completed, which was two-fold more than in 2016. One of the main events for Rosneft in 2017 was the beginning of drilling on the Hatanga license area. Prospecting drilling of this most northern well on the shelf of the eastern Arctic was started at the direction of Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, during a teleconference with Igor Siechin. It is just the first well, and you have a lot of work to do. So I wish you good luck and success in this endeavor. Dear Vladimir Vladimirovich, could you please kick off drilling in the first prospecting well in the Eastern Arctic? Please start. According to the preliminary estimates, resource potential of the Laptev Sea is about 9.5 billion tons of oil equivalent. Even after the very first studies of oil samples extracted there, it has become obvious that Rosneft is the discoverer of deposits on the shelf of the Eastern Arctic. A group of deposits in this part of Russia is very appealing in terms of logistics, opening the way to the Asian market. Today the project is considered to be one of the most efficient and attractive in Rosneft's portfolio. The longest well in the world was drilled by Rosneft at Sahalin 1. It is 15,000 meters long and is located at Chaivo deposit in the Sea of Ahorsk. Within the International Consortium of Sahalin 1. The gas business is the company's growing point and one of the strategic fields of work. In 2016, Rosneft became the biggest autonomous gas producer in Russia, ranking sixth in the world among public companies in terms of production. Based on the results of 2017, its gas production amounted to more than 68 billion cubic meters, which was 2% higher than compared to the previous year. Refining, Commerce and Logistics Volume of oil refining at the Russian refineries increased by 15% in 2017, thus exceeding the level of 100 million tons. Yield of light oil products grew to 58% and the refining rate exceeded 75%. The company pays special attention to first priority supply of the Russian oil products market. About 3,000 gas stations of Rosneft, almost in all regions of the country, offer its clients high-quality fuel at competitive prices. 
In 2017, the company increased its sale of oil products by 7%. During the last two years, the accompanying business at gas stations of Rosneft grew by 20%. The company expands its chain of filling stations with cafes. Italian snack bars, a cafe, are especially popular. The company creates new products and services to improve its dialogue with the consumer. Successful implementation of the loyalty program, family team, and BP Club is an essential element of the strategy. The program already has about 6.8 million participants. Rosneft develops premium channels of oil product sales, such as jet fuel supply, bunkering, and road surface production. In 2017, the volume of jet fuel sales amounted to more than 3 million tons. Annual sales of bunker fuel grew almost by 50% and amounted to 2.8 million tons. Sales of bitumen polymer binders grew by 70%. International Cooperation Strengthening a company's authority at the international markets and winning leading positions are a primary concern of Rosneft's activity. In May 2017, company's representative office was opened in Berlin, a subsidiary company of Rosneft Deutschland. In a result of assets reorganization in this year, the company is inside the top three leaders at the German oil refining market and carries out active development of its own business. Accessibility of its end consumers will enable Rosneft to increase the profit from sales of products with high added value of own production. An important victory of 2017 was the acquisition by Rosneft of 49% interest in SR oil. A series of biggest international corporations, including from the region, were aimed at the acquisition of SR, and we managed to do it in such strict competitive conditions. Such competition emerged for objective reasons, because the structure of assets belonging to SR is very serious. We speak about 20 million tons of refining in the territory of India, in the area of Vatinar. It is one of the top 10 world enterprises with the greatest possibilities of work with different oil grades. Acquisition of SR Oil's shares provides Rosneft with access to one of the biggest chain of gas stations in India, which by today consists of 4.2 thousand stations and will be significantly expanded in the future. India, by the way, occupies one-tenth of the whole world vehicle fleet. In 2017, Rosneft secured another strategic victory on an international scale. The company closed a transaction on procurement of 30% from ENI in the concessionary agreement for development of one of the world's biggest gas deposits on the shelf of Egypt, Zor. Zor ensures more than one-third of all gas reserves in Egypt. Development of this deposit will satisfy Egypt's need for natural gas for several decades. Rosneft has significantly strengthened its positions on the world stage by implementing an integral strategy. A vivid example of such approach is closing a transaction with Beijing Gas on the acquisition by the latter of 20% interest in Viet Me Chong's Nifty Gas. The Chinese company acquired an interest in one of the biggest producing deposits of the Eastern Siberia with developed infrastructure and access to the oil pipe Eastern Siberia Pacific Ocean and Rosneft got an opportunity to enter the domestic gas market of China. In 2017, Rosneft continued implementing a program in diversification of raw material supply between the western and the eastern directions. Shipments in the eastern direction grew by more than 10% as compared to 2016 and amounted to 47 million tons. It is a record amount, but we are sure that there is a potential for growth. 
We conduct negotiations and have offers for the increase in supplies both with our traditional and new partners. In 2017, Rosneft continued the construction of shipyard Zvezda in the Far East. The project is implemented by order of the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Upon its commissioning, Zvezda will become the first shipyard in Russia for high-capacity shipbuilding and will manufacture a whole line of medium and large capacity vessels and marine facilities, including tankers, gas carriers, elements of drilling rigs, and supply and seismic survey vessels. In September 2017, a section of four ICE-class supply vessels was laid, and a unique for Russia, high-outfitting staple was commissioned. It is nice to see that this large-scale project, important for the whole country, is steadily developing and going forward. Almost all the works at the enterprise are performed in time. The fact that construction of vessels and marine facilities has already begun is especially important. I am sure that Zvezda will become one of the leading shipbuilding dockyards in Russia and the world. In 2017, a unique crane Goliath, with a capacity of 1,200 tons, was assembled in the dockyard. This is one of the biggest cranes in the world and will be used in construction of large capacity vessels. Anchor customer, Rosneft. By today, the dockyard carries out construction of four enhanced ICE-class multitask supply vessels and five oil tankers of Aframax type with dead weight of from 80,000 to 120,000 tons of gas fuel. Tons on gas fuel. Here, the whole complex of works required for ship and vessel building will be performed. It is our most efficient Russian dockyard. Environmental safety is a top priority for the company. In its strategy, Rosneft sets a goal of becoming a top 10 world oil and gas company in the sphere of ecology, industrial safety, and environmental protection. During a year of ecology, Rosneft completed construction of the biggest in Eurasia biological treatment plants at the enterprise Bashnev Tufa Neftihem. These biological treatment plants clean all industrial wastes of the northern industrial hub of Ufa. In a course of the scientific and research expedition organized by the company, an iceberg weighing 1,100,000 tons was towed in the conditions of an ice field for the first time in the history of the Russian Arctic. Rosneft has been committed to social responsibility of business for many years. Companies' funds are used for construction of children's hospitals, schools, sports complexes, and culture facilities. These are not just one-time campaigns, but a permanent high-attention zone in the regions of the company presence. In 2017, a problem of drinking water quality was solved in Ingushetia with support from Rosneft. The company invested RUR 300 million into modernization of the water supply system. As early as in the beginning of this year, a high-tech medical center in Gelenjrik, equipped up to the state-of-the-art, began welcoming its patients. RUR 5 billion was spent on its construction and equipping. In 2017, Rosneft kept significantly improving its industrial and financial indicators by efficiently integrating new assets, increasing its business rate of return along the whole value chain, and keeping its technological dominance. 